you know, give uh, Rob and, and uh, his team, you know, a ton of credit. I thought we did a great job defensively and rebounding-wise in, in the first half. Um, you know, probably, you know, too many turnovers for us in the first half with 11. Um, but I thought defensively we were really good. Rebounding-wise, we were really good. And that's, you know, that's how we're going to have to compete in games, especially when you play, be you know, better teams, higher quality teams like Eastern is. Um, and I think they made a concerted effort to do two things against us in the second half. First was go to offensive glass. And uh, although they only had six um, and only had six second chance points, they kept possessions alive there. Um, and I, it, I thought that was very, very important. Um, and, you know, we just didn't do a good enough job of, of driving gaps in the zone, being able to hit guys underneath the zone. Uh, we played on top of it the whole time. Um, and they were super active in it, you know. And, and, you know, we talked about their length in the zone, which is effective. We had three or four shots at the rim where because of their length, they were able to still get to. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's very similar to our two other losses is we're going to struggle at times offensively to put the ball in the basket. Um, some of that is personnel driven. Some of that is just, you know, just because of all the newness and different things like that. Um, and, you know, sometimes we just don't shoot the ball well, and that's, that's going to happen. So, you know, the thing we have to do is we got to hang our hat on the defensive end and the rebounding. Uh, sharing the basketball again, you know we had 14 baskets, which isn't a lot, but we had 13 assists on that. Problem, you know, so we when we do share the ball and move it, we're effective. But with the 16 turnovers and um, you know four 17 from the three, you, you're going to have to make some threes against them, uh, or you got to have some guys inside that are, you know, really really aggressive and can go get the ball and make some plays. And we didn't have either one of those today. And give, give them, that's a really good team. He's assembled a, an excellent team with four juniors and a senior, uh, with Thompson inside, obviously some older guys that have sat out and transferred, so even those juniors are a little older. Jackson's a dynamic point guard, obviously. Uh, Minnie's is, you know, didn't shoot the ball. I thought we did a good job on him. Uh, but the one thing he did then from the zone is, again, this is another thing, especially our young guys who are going to be around here, got to learn. If you're not making shots, how are you impacting the game in other areas? And many, we did a good job on many. Uh, but he still gets to the free throw line four times. He gets seven defensive rebounds for him and ignited a couple fast breaks with that. Um, you know, Ellison was 0 for 5 from the three heading into today. You know, hadn't scratched from the three. Um, but every time I watch him on film, he does a lot of good things. He plays hard. Now all of a sudden today, he impacts the game by making some threes and having three assists and no turnovers. So, um, you know, we, we need to, again, you take bits and pieces from games and hopefully we'll learn from some of that. Coach, I know you know the saying, ball moves the ball. Did you get the kind of ball movement you wanted today? Not, not as much as you'd like, you know what I mean? Not as much as you'd like. Um, you got to be assertive with the ball. We are tentative with the ball. Um, you know, it, it's always two people. It's not just the guy with the ball. It's the guy who the ball is being delivered to. Is he getting into the correct position? Is he flashing hard and, and meeting passes? I think maybe the 11 turnovers in the first half with some of those that on passes underneath the zone. Uh, the last two games, obviously, a much different zone that we, you know, we faced, but we were able to get the ball inside. And uh, we have to do that. And, and maybe we grow, grew a little tentative in the second half because of some of those passes underneath the zone in the first half uh, weren't completed or, or led to turnovers. You know, So um, we didn't attack it well. But to be honest, that would be taking away credit from their defensive effort. You know, I, you know sometimes you know, we're, we're a pretty good defensive team. We weren't in the second half today. But sometimes you know, it's just better defense than we have offense. And that's, that was the case. You guys had like 12 board advantage in the first half. Did you kind of close the gap in the second? Were they doing anything defensively down low, aside from that zone, differently to kind of adjust to that? Do, do we say that again now? Uh, 
Eastern Michigan against you guys. Yeah, we were up in the rebounding wise. Yeah, they they were going. We 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 weren't physical enough in the in the second half on the glass. We just we we weren't. Um, you know, Terrence I think had uh, seven defensive rebounds for us, but you know we don't have you know we don't have anybody else with more than three. You know, and and so our uh, Malik had four defensive rebounds, but David Collins had three and Terrence had seven. So our leading rebounder and second leading rebounder are our two two guards. That's not good. You know what I mean? Uh, we have to play uh, with much more physicality around around the basket. And again, you know, they got they only got eight, but they got six offensive rebounds in the second half. I don't know how many I, I don't know how many offensive rebounds we had in the first half, but you know another thing is we had 13 offensive rebounds and only had 10 second chance points. When you get 13 offensive rebounds, you got to have 15, 16, 17 second chance points. So we're getting those, but we're not converting on those, and that's where their length comes into play a little bit. Uh, we had a, three or four shots at the rim where it looked like. We were open, ready to score, and, and they were able to make some make some plays. Uh, but again, the turnover is going to be big a big key for that. They, they outscored us by four at the free throw line, and then the rebounding piece. And then to that same court, Isaiah, Isaiah four fouls, eight minutes. Was that just uh, trying to do a little too much? Physically? Well, you know, a a, you know, yeah, a little bit. I did. Two of the post fouls were just because he was. Caught out of position. The one thing with him is everybody's got to realize he's played in the last two full seasons. So last season and the season before that at Texas Tech, he's played 63 minutes of basketball. You know what I mean? I mean, shoot, that that's, that's a game and a half in two years. You know, so it's gonna it's gonna take a it's gonna take a while, um, and you know. Uh, hopefully, you know, between now and conference with, you know, two road games and a rest at home with some more practice and so forth. Now that he knows he's playing and he's going to be in the rotation, I believe, that, uh, you know, hopefully some of that rust will wear off. I, I know these are young kids in the best shape of their lives, but it was your third game in five days against a very good defensive team. Does that have any effect? Uh, they played the same amount, Joe. You know what I mean? Now, this was our fourth game in seven days. We played Sunday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. So maybe a little bit, but, you know, we talked about being mentally tough. We talked about, uh, you know, uh, that, you know, they played on Friday night or, yeah, they played on Friday night on the road, had a fly here, you know, all that stuff. So that would be an excuse. And during this process of building our program, we're going to try to st stay away from those.